Okay, as you can see, this has the dual vacuum line port set up. So what I did is I just cut off the clamps like this from the upper one. You can just stick a, a flathead screwdriver right there, wiggle it around a little bit. Usually loosens it up enough to slide it off. Or you can all get some diagonal cutters and put it in there and just clip it off. They're a bit tough, so make sure you have some good clippers. Um, then I just went to the auto parts store and I just got a length of hose. Uh, it's by a foot long length. Um, I believe it was a half inch. You can always, usually, these vacuum ports uh, are very loose, so you can usually pop them out. Um, I have a zip tie on mine because my car is turbo and it blows them out all the time. Um, that's the reason why I have the zip tie, but usually if your car is NA, it's usually under vacuum and usually holds it in place. So yeah, that's all you have to do is just replace this upper line with a piece of hose couple of uh, hose clamps and you're set ready to go.